this, bro. Stop, bro. J. Crunk. No, we're not doing this. Speaking of, of peace treaties, though, Thug tweeted out that music is better when him, Drake, and Future, and all on one accord. I was, I, I felt that. Yeah. Because they make, they do got a lot of heat. They got a lot of heat, and like them beefing is not good for my. I don't want to hear. I don't like. It's cool, like a couple of diss songs, just so we can hear it, hear what it sound like. Oh, he 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 went in on something, whatever. But they got heat together. Like they we never gonna. Heat. Are we not hearing this anymore? Are they not going to normal tours? Like we never gonna see this no more. Like that's not what we want. They got real heat, like you said. Um, and again, is when the family feuds. There's nothing that good from, comes from that. Again, I feel like we missing out on a lot of shit because Future's been in his bag his last few projects. But could you imagine with Drake on a few of them? Yo, if he had, yeah. I'm gonna be real. Bro, if Doug, he had, if he had two Drake verses on mixtape Pluto, it it, it would have sent that shit through the roof. Through the roof. Like, through cause the, the roof. mixtape Pluto was fire, but two Drake verses. With some fuck? of them beats with Drake talking his talk with Future, that was like if Drake would have done, if Drake would have jumped on Plutoski or Ski, Plutoski would have been oh out of here. God, dude. It's us again. The homies is back. We're all set, Paul. Episode 170. Your brother, man, Rich is in the building. Got your, got my boy with me. Got my brother with me. Talk to me, brody. Yo, you already know free here. I'm on the check-in. Hello. Word up. We back in the building. Another joint. We have been took a little hiatus. It's calm, but we back. It's homecoming week. Listen. Clark, y'all did y'all, y'all had y'all week last week, but y'all know what time it is. Morehouse, Spellhouse, the real homecoming is here. Much love to the homies, but y'all little bros, man. Packing y'all up. Clark, y'all had a good one that was cool, but you know the the true, the real is coming through. We're coming. Homecoming is about to be lit. It's about to be a great week. About to see a lot of familiar faces. I hopefully, I don't, I don't see, see no too many faces. fucking big backs. I don't want to see too many big backs. I really don't. I got a lot. Of, I see a lot of young joints. The club, a lot of cheeks was out. Like, you don't gotta have your cheeks out, ladies. You know what I'm saying? I don't know I if that's mean, like a new trend. It's, it's different age groups. You gotta understand, though, bro. We we, we was 22. So I don't remember cheeks being out like that. I mean, it's a different level of decorum in the world today. You feel me? It's just less and less cool th- as the years go by. It's a different level of decorum in the world today. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Our age group, the geeks won't be out. We, we can, we can say, it's safe to say that. Like, you know what I mean? They don't but, even got any geeks left. If they got any, shit crazy. Nah, it's still, Sing's in our, in our generation. Don't be dumb. All right. I said, don't we gonna you see. be dumb. But, yeah, I mean, the 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 young, the young the youngsters, the, 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 the young alumni, the fresh alumni, they might be a little uncool if you don't really know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, last time I was at a reunion, it was shake. It was a lot of 90% big backs. And, you know, I just want us to make sure we prioritize our health and wealth. <laughs> I noticed that, like, a lot of time with the Spelman, Spelman joints, they so career-oriented because they are very, very, a very extremely successful group of women. But, you know, don't forget to still be sexy and be, be a woman, you know. Don't forget to do a little jog, go for your walks, eat right, take care of yourself. It's yeah. alright to do both. You can be successful. That don't mean you gotta lose yourself, lose your sex appeal. There, you know I mean? there was nothing like being successful and beautiful at mm-hmm. the same time, and being successful based upon merit. You know what I mean? Because you actually good at what you do, but also being a ting. Like that's a different level of, of elite that you should that every joint should strive to be, and pro and get and get to. You feel me? And it just takes a little discipline and consistency. So we just want to champion that and make sure. That our women are being as beautiful as they can be and putting their best foot forward. And I want to see the niggas too. A lot of y'all niggas letting yourselves go. Everybody niggas getting dad bods and all that other shit. Titties yeah, and all that. yeah. I feel like the men, like men, is more a little more common for keeping it like, cause, cause we, you know, what I'm saying we kind of get it a little more, cause we kind of get ju- judged a little harsher. But yeah, a couple of niggas, y'all niggas is falling off too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like absolutely. There's no, like, you didn't, you wasn't pregnant. Like, <laughs> like what? So like, there's really no excuse. <laughs> there's no excuse, homie. There's no excuse. Keep that shit tight, Paul. Keep it, keep it together. 
Um, I went to Usher concert. Lit. You went to Usher concert. Yeah. Did he do, did he two step all over the place? Yeah, I see a lot of rollerblading. I see a lot of action. Did he was he humping niggas' girlfriends and shit? Nah, he, he, do, do he, that. Kept he, he kept it calm. He kept it calm. He kept it calm. Because I, I went on Sunday, I feel like that was like the Lord's day. So the guest he brought out was pretty on brand. He brought out Kirk Franklin. He did his oh, two uh, step. He brought out Silk. They did a couple bangers. He okay. brought out Keep Sweat and Cut Close. Shout out to Harlem. You know they did a couple classics. And he brought out Glorilla, which was, which was, a, you know, I mean, Glorilla hot is out right now. I so like was, Glorilla, but why, well, with that lineup, though? Yeah, the, the, with that lineup, would fuck me up. And it was crazy, because she basically, like, closed the show. Like, he did three guests. He did the old school guests. Did, like, two songs. Glorilla came out, and then he did, like, one more song. And, and then, then it was 70, it. 70 and 5, it's 95 degrees. Yeah. I'm Niggas gonna, went crazy for that shit. Yeah. I saw first week sales is in. We'll get into that later, but you know she 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 on some shit right now. And we thought it was gonna be calm for Glorilla once Sexy came out. So we gotta you know we gotta give a, a round of applause for Glorilla. Like I said, we're gonna shout her out later in the show. Yeah, but, um, I mean Glorilla's a better rapper than Sexy Red. Yeah, but Sexy was on fire last year. Yeah, but you know shit dies down when you ain't. It's hard to like how how much times can you do this? You know what I'm saying? It's like if you're not actually good at this. Yeah, it's I mean, hard to like keep it going. Like, keep it keep, going. Keep, keep making another joint. Yeah, and nah. the way the way the attention span in in the, in the people is so short now. Shit is so fickle. It's like, be you have to like literally keep it coming. Like, nah, pause. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Um, where we want to go with it, B? It's election season. It's election season. Heavy election going on. Heavy talk going on. Kamala finally dropped a black man agenda because everybody was saying black men felt left out and yada ma yada ma yada ma. Kamala drops black men agenda. How you feel about the black man agenda from Kamala? Talk to me. I mean, honestly, I feel like the Democrats and, you know, Barack came out, he gave a speech. I don't like the way their their approach per se when it comes to trying to get the black men on board. I feel like it's a lot of they're talking to black men as opposed to like talking with them. Like it's more so like, yo, you're not you need to vote for Kamala because you're black and she's a black woman and you need to be behind that. As far as the agenda go, I don't want to sit up here and freestyle on world set and act like I'm 100% privy to everything. I got to really sit and sit, sit with it. But again, um, I'm not really a fan of the Democrats' approach to getting the black men on board and how they're talking to them and the type of messages that I'm seeing. But I will say that good for Kamala for acknowledging that that might be a base that she needs to connect better with. No. Yeah. So, again, at where all said, I would never tell anybody to vote left or right, tell you who to vote for. But we also want to make sure both candidates are giving options, are appealing to, you know, our our fan base at where all said. And, you know, we do got a lot of black men that check in. So, again, I would implore people who watch the show to go tap in with the black men agenda and see if that fits your bill you know is that something you could get a, get a, get along with and um make your choice from there well but, i i personally i ain't gonna hold you like i personally felt like that shit was a slap in the face you know what i'm saying i felt like it was like a mockery to men the the black men voting constituency out there with a brain like you know what i'm saying to come with a uh, a uh, 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 basically throwing together a black man agenda in the final hour, a couple of weeks before the like election, right before it's the pretty election, pretty ridiculous. And then, if you reading, if you're reading the actual agenda and the and the point, like this is not, this is not for black men. It's it it's up. policy. It's things that will help black men, right? Mm -hmm. But none of it is specifically for black men you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying and i'm just i'm just over the whole rising tide raises all ships policies yeah i'm over oh and then and then i feel like it's disrespectful to then market that policy as a black man agenda <laughs> when it's literally for anyone that is taking advantage of it you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like it's for it's for anyone. It's for other minorities. It's for a whole bunch of motherfuckers. So to call it a black man agenda was like, like I just felt like that was a slap in the face. And to throw it together the final hour, it just like, 
anybody, I feel like if you really looking at that shit and breaking it down, like one of the main points man, I see like, is providing a million loans that are fully forgivable for up to twenty thousand dollars to black entrepreneurs and others who have historically faced barriers. And then that, that's where the language gets tricky. So but, is it but black but black entrepreneur that's still it's everybody, my nigga. It's all black people, all races that are Every minority, basically. That's yeah, what that every is. Every minority. There's nothing for specifically black men. None nothing inside the black man agenda is specifically for black men. And I had and I had and I challenged one of my homies that's a super democrat and he's like Oh, why does it have to be just for black men if it does help black men? But if we already acknowledge the fact that black men are on an uneven playing field and black men are being unjustly left behind and, and, and the structure was structured for black men to be left behind, then it needs to be something to even the playing field. It can't just be, oh, it helps everybody because then the, the people, the, the niggas that's ahead, the people that are ahead are going to stay ahead. Then it's not really even and it's not really helping the situation for real. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like. And I, I just can't get with that, B. Like, you got to do, they got to give niggas, the, the, the people that are behind statistically that you can see dis disenfranchised and all that, you got to give them something where they can even the playing field to a degree. Like, you know what uh -huh. I'm saying? Like, you got to give them something specific, specifically for them. It don't make no sense, B. And you're not going to jug me, jug me down and call some shit a black man agenda when it's mad people benefiting from this shit. Come on, now. Nah, I feel you. Um... On the, on the flip side, your man Trump, serving fries. Trump is not my man. <laughs> Trump is not my man. Trump is slipping cognitive. His cognitive shit is slipping. Tr Trump, his age is showing. His cognitive shit is slipping. He's going from he's going from town hall to town hall, regurgitating the same talking points. He's not even answering questions anymore. Trump is not talking about shit. I just want everybody to know that. Serving fries, I mean, I guess it's cool. I mean, people like to see the bullshit, but whatever, B. I'm not really that. Whatever, B. Serve some fries. I don't know what the fuck that means. What does that do? Like, what does that mean? He letting you know he relatable. Like you said, don't be dumb, my nigga. Damn. He showing you I know how to serve fries. You know what it is? <laughs> I keep telling you. I know how to you serve fries. keep... <laughs> I'm going to tell you, you don't be dumb because you put too much emphasis on how smart you think the general public is and, like, <laughs> how much... To you, you're like, what am I gonna do with that? To millions of low bread like, Americans, yo, that was lit. That was lit, bro. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you? Are you like? I keep telling you, you put you put a lot of faith. And listen, I'm a proud American, but a lot of niggas can't read. A lot of niggas ain't that smart. So seeing Trump just serving fries at McDonald's that made him relatable to a lot of low income, impoverished people yeah. who have a low education level. And I'm not, and not even them, just people in general. Yeah. They just like to see that. Like, yo, if he he pulled out the McDonald's, what the fuck. Again, we saw Trump. He came to Chick Fil A on MLK. Yeah, like, that was respectable. Like, that was respectable. That was like I can't. It is what it is. Like he was there. He was yeah. giving out milkshake. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. Like in the hood, you we been to school there. It was nothing but black kids around. Talk about yo, we fucking with you, Trump. Like I can't. You can't fake that because I see. But my barber was like, yo, I ain't gonna lie with the whole niggas. Was a bunch of niggas was outside. Yeah. I was outside looking. Yeah. So again. The talking, both of them have been terrible the last month as far as when they've been, Kamala had the Fox interview, Trump had another interview where he didn't look too good, but just as far as like the optics and the shit he doing, Trump not coming with no fake ass agenda, he's just like, yo, fuck it, I'm gonna pull up in the hood, I'm gonna talk to y'all, see what's going on. He just was in the Bronx barbershop. Talking to niggas, you know what I mean? Tell me what's going on. Tell me how you feel. Again, was there niggas did. It was like it was right he, was, like, no, he was. No, he was with a bunch of Dominicans. Was he was in Dominican uh -huh. part. You gotta touch all the parts. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Like yeah. he touched. He said he we, again. He touched the black niggas. He gotta touch the Dominicans, the Spanish. That's all I'm saying. Then he brought A B and Le'Veon on the trail. <laughs> I didn't like how AB sounded when My he said. My son AB said, "Y'all gonna make all of y'all the crackers of the week." Yes. Like, yo, what? They, the they fact, Yes, yes. That's what I'm saying. Like, what? <laughs> yo, AB really be calling these people crackers of the week. He, Donald Trump's son was like, "Yo, I want to be cracking." He said he's cracking a year, cracking a decade. Yeah. They was imploring that. They were cheering that. Yeah. So, you might, you yourself, as rich as you might be, disgusted by the shit that's going on, <laughs> yeah. and your intelligence level is above the bullshit but most aren't and they like the bullshit and they connect with the dumb shit the dumber it is is easier this can connect to they don't want to hit yo i promise you 
there is the fact that there's fans of AB and they like the fact that he yeah. likes Trump. He probably swayed some voters yeah, he just because of that. Swayed some voters. He, definitely he swayed some voters. Voter. We have a voter block of niggas that's like 18 and 19. They have a right to vote. Yeah. We don't think them, like, <laughs> we're still in white America. Them PWY white niggas that just love AB, love Trump, yeah. love the bullshit. Yeah. Aiden Ross and all them type of niggas. They, yeah. It's cool to vote. Trump got the cool card. That's what I'm saying with the young, with the youth. From what it looks like. From what I gauge when I be on the internet. Come on. I think a lot of, I see a lot of youth come on She got the youth with the black woman. She, I, she, I, 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 her demographic. The she, gaze. She got the she gaze. She got the gaze. Hard. Hard. Perf- she like, got the gaze, What we going to say, like, the Barb's, Nicki Minaj's, and Swifties, that's big. Those are That's gaze. a big. Those yeah, are yeah. gays. She has a big constituency. But, like, yeah. it's a certain type of people. Like, the young frat, white niggas, or blacks, they oh, fucking yeah, with Trump. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It, like, all the... All, Paul's meatheads, like all the like yes, the, the, the frat, the frat, frat the frat the, boys, the alpha males, and all alpha that. Males, they're super they're Trump. Super There's Trump, nothing bro. It's nothing to talk about. They're not, it's not they're even, not even a voting for a joint they're whatsoever. Not even, That's not. And she's black. Have like what? No, no, they're not voting for that. Are you yeah. crazy? Yeah, we not. Yeah, that's but, just what I'm saying. And they just got to do. The funny, dumb, ignorant shit appeals to meatheads. Yeah. So that's all I'm saying. You're not yeah. a meathead, so to you, it's just like, oh my God. But again, you had, you're you putting too much faith in how smart you really think the, the average American is. Niggas ain't dumb and niggas get turned on by different shit. I, st- I still think, I still think, regardless, I think Kamala's still going to win, bro, just off the strength that she's putting more emphasis on things that she's going to do and policy and things like that. And Trump is just like drill, baby, drill. Like, you feel me? Like, I feel like Trump is, 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 is just like freestyling. Even though Kamala is also just beating you to death with the talking points, I think that the fact that she does have some kind of like planned policy type shit out there, like that you can look like this is what she, her plan to do this and that. Like, I think that's going to get her through, through over the top. Honestly, I think Trump is going to win. I just think a lot of people are fucked up right now in terms financially. And they just looking at Biden and Kamala as the reason. Yeah, and that's going to be, that's going to sway a lot of voters. Like, people are just going to lean into that. Like, you know what? Shit is fucked up. Yeah, that's And true. I think that might sway a few voters. But again, I, I understand what you're saying as far as Kamala. Like, her shit does seem a little bit more structured. You know, she, her... Agendas outside of the black man, when she, they seem to be more clear as far as her policies and what she wants to do with her administration moving forward. But yeah. I think Trump has galvanized a base where they fed up and niggas is poor and his niggas is hurting. Yeah. And he's he's tapping into that. Yeah, you know? I will I will say though, like Le'Veon Bell and all that. Like I'm 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 not jacking the um the disrespect of Kamala just on like on a female tip like calling her them, them like names and all Trump that and, and the all tramp that. and all that crazy like, shit like come on like we like just come on especially from 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 niggas like from from black men like really that's what like I mean like to go publicly wild wild out, her like yeah. that like it's just like too much be like like I, I said I'll never remember when like. <laughs> The presidential debates got this yeah, dangerous. Tacky. It's yeah, tacky. Like, it's like low brow, it's wild, it's super low brow, bro. Like yeah. you feel me? Like I just, I, 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 I can't fuck with that. Like even like, and you could call her blackness in the in the question and all that. But at the end of the day, she went HBCU, went AKA. Like I, I don't really need to hear anything else. Like she's black enough. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> once you start doing shit like that, you black enough, be happy. Um, we want to do. Where we gonna go with it, be? I'm done talking this politics. Talk about political <laughs> shit, man. Transitioning your man, J. Cole, new song. <laughs> There's another sleeper. He was spitting. Yo, my nigga. I'm not pressing play on no J. Cole. Yeah, you're over it. He's he he showed he showed his head. Look, bro, I'm not pressing play on no J. Cole. I don't wanna hear you rap your explanations and you still telling me what you might have done. Look, bro. Keep it, ro- get the fuck out of my face, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, when they, when I hit, when they tell me like, "Yo, J Cole has dropped a song for the ladies," I right, like my press play. You might press play. Like, you know what I mean, like I played it once. You know what I mean? Because you know, <laughs> one one third of the world said our executive producer is a super big J Cole fan, so I had to give it a spin. Again, he can still rap, but I don't want to hear none of the tough talk. That's over with. You already copped the plea, and that's okay. 
But when That's you it. do that, no, no, no. If you're going to do that, I just need you to stay in that lane. Just go over there. Stay over there, bro. Go over there, bro. Just go over there. Don't stay over there. Don't try to creep out the woodworks and try to like, no, nah, fam, no. Nah. We're not doing that, bro. This is rap. This is battle. This is a, this is a competitive sport, bro. We're not, And we're not going to excuse you. Especially after you throw a stone and then run. And then, yeah, that was crazy. And then want to come out and crazy. act like you the bigger man later on. Yeah, nah. After nah. you threw the first, one of the first stones. That's unfortunate. It really is. Stop it, bro. Stop, bro. Jake, no, we're not doing that. Speaking of, of peace treaties, though, Thug tweeted out that music is better when him, Drake, and Future and all on one accord. I, would, I, I felt that. Yeah. Because. They, make, they do got a lot of heat. They got a lot of heat and like them beefing is not good for my. I don't want to hear. I don't like. It's cool like a couple of diss songs just so we can hear it, hear what it sound like. Oh, he 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 went in on something, whatever. But they got heat together. Like they we never gonna. Are we not hearing this anymore? Are they not going to normal tours? Like we never gonna see this no more. Like we, that's not what we want. They got real heat, like you said. Um, and again, is when the family feuds. There's nothing that good from, comes from that. Again, I feel like we missing out on a lot of shit because Future's been in his bag his last few projects. But could you imagine with Drake on a few of them? Yo, joints? if he had, yeah. I'm gonna be real. Oh, if Doug. he had, if he had two Drake verses on mixtape Pluto, it it, it would have sent that shit through the roof. Through the roof. Like, through cause the, the roof. mixtape Pluto was fire, but two Drake verses with well, some fuck? of them beats with Drake talking his talk with Future. That was like if Drake would have done. If Drake would have jumped on Plutoski or Ski, Plutoski would have been oh out of here. God, man. <laughs> Drake or Putoski is out of here. What? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, it's certain things. And then Thug not around, so it's like, yo. Yeah. It's like, it's not that many niggas you can throw on your shit to send it through the roof. Do you think that Rich Homie Kwan's passing might have been a catalyst to this thought process with Thug? Yeah, for sure. For sure. For, for sure. sure. I mean, anytime. Niggas they die. had some real heat. <laughs> they had some yeah, super heat. Real, real and any, heat. And anytime niggas die that you had a bond, I had a, a, a bond with or had a moment with in time with whatever cause. And and, 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 and and especially if, if they don't, if they if if y'all not on the best terms when that person died, that shit racks your brain. Like you think about that shit. You know what I'm saying? So he he in a fucking jail cell in sitting jail. all day thinking about that. He now probably got like, to come to quality terms with with bro. And then they like you said they and then looking back like damn we really did have a moment. We really had some shit with each other. Like, it, it it makes you think and then it makes you think realize like yo the shit that niggas is upset about and not fucking with each other over is man it's really dumb it's in, dumb a, in, shit. A, in a bigger you know what I'm saying because you're not thinking about niggas not gonna be dead like you know you don't think about all that yeah. but when you think about in a grander scheme of it all bro like the shit niggas be beefing over be dumb like be dumb shit couple bro. bitches little dumb shit like you know what i'm saying so he he it definitely don't be worth the heat that they niggas is missing out on or the history that could be being made exactly and the quality memories niggas could be could be making exactly not beefing the bags that begin that could be getting touched like you know what i'm saying so thug being a thug thug being intelligent being a bigger man he in a he in a space where he's thinking deeper he's, he's clear-headed he's not on mad drugs mm -hmm. and he's like looking at this shit from a bigger perspective like yo Niggas don't need to be beefing at all. Nah, facts, facts. I respect it. Um, let's let's keep a rap. You know, I, I got a champion. My niggas, Benny and Spech drop. Yeah, I ain't even get to listen to that shit yet. B. Shit, pain. <laughs> shit is I real pain. Is, is, is it? Is it's it? Pain, B. Spech, Spech is on Spech some shit right miss, now. Man. He Lately, can't miss he right can't now. Miss. And Benny talking his shit. Benny talking his shit. Like again. What I noticed is, you know, Special makes a lot of his beats, so the album is real coherent. It's not like all over the place. Okay. You know what I mean? It's not like they trying to they trying new outrageous like dirty South trap beats. That's, you know? See, that's what I be wanting. No, none of that shit. It's straight pain from beginning to end. What I be wanting from <laughs> niggas is stick to your fucking wheelhouse. Like stick to your wheelhouse, kick, bring, bro. Bring, stay what got you here. Like, like stick with what got you here. you sprinkle in one or two here and there, I I ain't gonna. Do, everybody want to experiment, but yeah. don't get too crazy. Like Guns last shit, he was too much. Over left field. Hopefully he got he got a project about to drop. Hopefully he do come correct. You no, know, the nigga Westside Gun blocked me when I when I um when I last oh, yeah, when you I, are the black. last album the nigga blocked me when I when I when I said like bro that shit is too left like we don't want to hear you over DJ drama yelling on Dirty South shit bro like what the fuck is this you gotta <laughs> stick to your fucking dance with who brought you here man nigga like yeah. 
What yeah. the fuck? Like, dance with the bitch you brought to the party, bro. That shit, like... Listen, it's a lot of quality life bars. And it's age-appropriate rap. Like, you know, it's it's hard for niggas. It's, you know, as we get older, and, you know, they say rap is a young man's sport. A lot of the, especially the young rappers, like, they so drugged and cracked and coked out. Like, I can't relate to none of them. They not, like, the 24-year-olds ain't spent like how big you and them would spend when they was 24. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, So it's, it's, it's some niggas that be talking they shit, but it ain't. It ain't the same. You know what it is? I feel like other than the drugs, I feel like it's a it's a lack of education. Like the younger generation doesn't have the same um emphasis on education and shit like Literature, that. And like work, like, like none of that. These niggas is like well, and they're not listening and they're not listening to intricate rap. So like they just stupid. Like they they don't know the words. They, they don't can't know the words. String this shit together the right way. They it's just like it's a dun it's like a, a dunsing of niggas. Like, yo, these niggas are too dumb to be nice. That shit is crazy. Yeah. Like, you know, that, what I'm that's saying? what it is though. They're too dumb to be They're nice. Too dumb to be nice. These niggas don't just don't have the word for like, it. It's, they old, don't know it's words. old niggas from the night. It's niggas 40, 50 years old jump on a track right now and body and shit. Like I I heard some shit from Method Man the other I'm like yo Method Man Method, Method, Method spit. is still spitting like still spit. niggas is still dog walking shit kiss just drops some shit the other day niggas is still dog walking shit and you know when you listen to the young niggas like bro this little nigga is just dumb yeah I came across some bank shit <laughs> I'm like yo bank still rap Banks, Banks and is ransom still... ransom is wilding right now Banks like is always yo wilding. I ain't gonna lie. I had to, I speaking of Rams, like I had to really just, I feel like I missed a few years, but he's really been blacking. Man, like he's going wild he's been blacking. Like my man's man. like my niggas up top told me like, yo, you fucking like niggas fucking ran heavy right now. Like almost to the point like when it was like Desert Storm era. Like yeah. he on that and he's, he's nicer on that. Now he's than nicer he was now. Then. Yes, yes. He, yes. And he's on it. He on a, he on a joint with Benny and 38 talking his shit. I'm yeah. like, oh, this nigga ran is wild. Ran is nicer now than he was then. Ran this is wild. Ran is wild. What? And I want to talk about how the borough's been shaky. Let's get into that. So as while we on the subject, what you mean? Talk to me. The there's no there's no real spitters right now, outside of like the couple old heads that we just named in the boroughs. Nobody knew that's really putting in putting out no pain. I'm just being real with you. These niggas are too dumb to be nice. They too dumb, they and then it's yell like the, coming to old niggas. Like again, meth. I he they got meth got a joint with 38. I've heard kiss on the joints with them. And I feel like 38 and Benny be washing them niggas, be I'm to be honest. I mean, these niggas is 50 though. Alright. Nah, what I'm saying is it, the niggas that's really nice right now is outside of the five bros in New York City. We just said Ran. Ran is on is in a running wildin'. 38 is wildin'. He upstate. Benny, he's still carrying, he doing his thing. Mm -hmm. Like, it ain't really too much borough niggas in the borough that's really giving me real heat right now. Uh, yeah. New I'm, heat. That's what I'm saying. Niggas, it's quiet, bro. It's quiet, bro. It's quiet, bro. New York, I mean, at the end of the day, musically. I'll say this. See, I'll even go. Speak. I'll even go. These niggas in New York, because of the drill shit and all that, like, niggas in New York, they almost lost their identity, niggas in the towns. This is, it's sad to say. It's New York is not there. what it used to be. It's not what it used niggas to be. Niggas is not. Niggas, the niggas, like, from, from fashion you know, to, to music to everything. Nobody got their own ain't. shit. It's a couple of niggas. I mean, you know, it's always. It's always like good, I said, you, like, but, we had Cash Cobain over the summer. He had a sound that, you know, the, the sexy drill shit that was cool. I, I was fucking with it. You know, I was promoting yeah. that big. But again, He's not a spitter. Like, he's talking yeah. his little shit for the bitches, which is cool. Listen, bitches like it, so it's cool to put yeah, on. Yeah. But in terms of raps that I could, like, I, I could put on, it's not too ignorant. I could relate to what he's saying. Like, make me want to go get a million dollars. That's that's them niggas. It's not coming. Yeah, it's it's not, not coming out the five boroughs. It's, not coming, is what out, I'm it's not coming out the city. It's not, not bro. It's not. It's not. All. Nobody's giving me that. Like, you know what I mean? And it's funny because, like you said, growing up, we would have never thought that. But now it's like, the bird, like niggas like Davies, Vada, they be, they wish, they be on the tracks with them and it don't, they shit don't hit the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, I mean, I've never been a Davies guy. I always thought neither. Davies was garbage. I never liked not him. Not garbage, garbage, but, but not good enough. Not good enough. You That's how I felt. But he got nicer than me. Vado, but I feel like his image carried him through, Davies. Yeah. And Vado was too gimmicky. Like he, he ran, he ran with his catchphrases too hard and it kind of got corny. Copy. That's how I feel like. I mean, when he came out with Cam and him, he was nice. But then, like, once he, like, it's, like, got corny. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, shout out to 38 and Benny. They project is fire. You definitely got to give it a listen. It's an, I call yeah, it inspiring I, trap music. <laughs> you know, I just, yeah, I just ain't get around to it yet. Like, yeah, I ain't, I've been chilling. I've been listening to, like, other shit, fucking 
mixtape Pluto or fucking. I've been listening to um Big X Big X the plug, B. Big X the plug new album is fire as fuck, yo. It's elite. That shit hard, B. I ain't gonna lie. That shit riding, bro. That's a fire album, my nigga, from top to bottom. No skips. That shit mean. Copy. We got some plug shit is riding. We got to uh, give a shout out to Glow. She did 60K this first week. Get them Glow. Big. Get them Glow. I actually listened to, I, I listened to the album like on the way over here just to <laughs> make sure I had some type of knowledge. And it's all right. I, she got a song with Sexy Red that's fire to me. Yo, it's the remake of the little Boosie joint. So the white, with the, the let white me, me tell down. you how unk I am, right? Oh, so yeah. fry. Friday or Saturday, I can't remember. I'm out, and I'm with a young joint, and she like, and I'm hearing that that song you're talking about. So I'm on my unk. I'm thinking like, oh, wipe me down is on. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Like, I, but then I'm like, wait, like who the f what's this? Like I'm at, I'm like, yo, what? I'm like, yo, it's not wipe me down. Like nah. she like, nah, this go go rilla. I'm like, this shit kind of fire though. Yeah, I'm like, this not yeah, wipe yeah. me down though. She's like, nah, this Glorilla and Sexy Red. I'm Sexy like, Red what? Came on I'm like, shit. Glorilla S remade, wipe me down? She's yeah, like, she yeah, did. I'm like, what? Yeah, Boosie in the video, paying homage. Yeah, I'm like, but this shit fire, though. Like, she, like, I fuck with Glorilla. Like, because Glorilla, she's somebody that she really be riding the track. Like, she's nice. Yeah. Like, it's not, like, it's not debatable. Like, this bitch is nice mm -hmm. when she rap, like, you know what I'm saying? And she... And it's digestible. Like she, she rap in a way where like you gonna you gonna learn the words ASAP. Like you know you gonna pick it like take it in ASAP. Like her shit is catchy right now. She's winning. Like cause she's doing the catchy, easy to understand shit. But she's good at it though, and she's nice and she's hitting them with the little voice shit she do and all that. Like well, Willa's hard, son. You gotta stand up. Nah, she valid. I ain't good. I, I ain't listen to the album cause like you know I mean like just subject matter. I can't. You know I mean? <laughs> but. I had a production is sturdy. And always, like said, she, she talking shit. She got an ear. She gonna pick. She gonna pick mean? quality beats. Her production is valid. She's a real artist. Like and she, she, she she's did, nice. Her first week was definitely, definitely sturdy. She smacked everybody. She yeah. smacked. She smacked. The only thing who smacked every, it was Rod Wave. Rod Wave on some shit right now. But she smacked every female rapper every female that rapper. dropped this year. Yes, by a lot. By a lot. By a lot. So respect the glow. Rod Wave was always winning. He's not my cup of tea, but he he's not, always winning. He, he, yeah. he got the emo kids on on on, on smash. On smash. Not with it. The emo kids is is, is, t is tapped in all the way to raw wave shit. You know what I'm saying? You want to get into the drip, or we want we want to yeah, get into something else on the half. We going to get into drip. We get into some other shit. Yo, what you got? You we all the world sweatshirt on? No, nigga. Actually, this is this is EXO tour merch from the weekend show in Brazil. Oh what? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's shout out. Shout out to the merch. Yeah. This is this is. You can only get this in, in Brazil. This, that was the Brazil joint. Yeah. Like I, you I see like, it's the Brazil color. Fire. I, yeah. I was looking at his shit. I'm like, what the fuck you think? Got his bike jack. We're the world <laughs> holding nah, the fucking yeah. globe. It's, it's EXO tour merch from the weekend concert in Brazil. Facts. Nah, that's sturdy though. <laughs> like he got the country regional exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you had to be there to get that one. Nah, that's a good one, man. <laughs> I mean, that shit, that's, that's the drip report for the day, man. <laughs> hey, yeah, get you some regional concert merch. Shitting me? That should be worth a couple dollars too. You just put yeah. them in plastic. Yeah, I was like, yo, I might just keep it fresh. Not wear it that much, dry clean it, and sell it later. But I might just keep it for the memories. I don't know how I'm going to feel. I don't know what I'm going to do. Nah, that joint started, though, man. That's the drip report. Shout out to the regional concert merch. Get you. I've always been the champion of concert merch, especially, like, if you you hold it, you tuck it, because then it's super vintage. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because them shits be hard to find. Trust exactly. Me. Exactly. Um, Coming back, second half, Uh, Big Meech Big is Meech home. Big Meech is home. Hello. NBA about to drop. We gotta talk about uh, NFL tapping. NFL wrap that up. Uh, least come baggery. You all already that. know. Holla, we coming right back. Beep, beep. Oh yeah. All right, we back. We back. Second half. We already know we kick off every second half with elite scumbaggery. If you don't know what that is, that's when somebody does some scumbag shit, but they pull it off in elite fashion. So we gotta shout them out. 
This week's elite scumbag is Drea Michelle. <laughs> Lit. She is an absolute demon. Her, her her half her age baby father secured a new contract. A buck, Shot to Jalen Green three, three years and a buck oh six. She went immediate post on the gram. She is excited, elated. She secured more bread. She, she out here like she just hit the power ball. Mm hmm. Shout to her. Shout to her. <laughs> Fucking sleaze. But she must got some real fire. That's all I can say. Yeah, respect. I mean, look at it. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure her shit's pretty amazing. Like, she's done nothing with her life but be bad. Like, so her shit has to be fire. Like, if if her shit's not fire, then would she how did she wouldn't be here? Mm -hmm. She wouldn't have made it this far. You know what I'm saying? Like, she definitely got a red snapper. You know what I mean? Gotta respect it. Shout out to Drea, at least. Shout out to Drea. She's some nasty work, but I have to respect it. She's secured, she secured the bag. She's looking smarter than you, bitches. You fucked up. You fucking think it's for nothing, so. Yeah, nah, she ain't playing around. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, before we trans back, transition back to some more sports shit, we gotta say, Big Meech is home. Welcome home. Big Meech is home. Welcome home. You feel me? Like I'm always for I'm always for niggas touching down. I yeah. love it. You feel me? Seen a flicker, homie. He looked like he was in there doing his push ups. You know what I mean? He's all right. You know what I mean? Pull ups, push ups. Good unk. He just on his unk shit. <laughs> unk, unk, sturdy. Good and strong. Touchdown, nigga. Um, the strippers was happy. <laughs> they think he about to be back outside, back on his bullshit. I, I really, really hope that he lays low. And, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that. His brother been chilling. His yeah. brother ain't been doing shit. Understand that that era is over. And, and, and progress sure and, and transition to other things. I'm pretty sure something was put up. I'm sure something was put up for sure. Yeah, you know? yeah he's not. He has bread. He got I mean, bread. The sun is working. Yeah, I mean. Working. I'm pretty not, sure they got a decent check for BMF. Yeah, they're, they're good on a bread tip. I think lay low, though. Like, continue to it's lay so low. Old. Be old head. Lay low. Give a couple of niggas some guidance, whatever it may be. If you want to get back out there, and, like, find a way to find a way to make your lane, like, don't be in a club throwing money at bitches. Oh yeah, nah. At fifty, plus. I can see him doing like, like, like talking to the youth. Whatever it may on. be, like, yeah, talk on that to type the youth, of time. Make some program, like, I mean, and consult on some TV shows, the movies, whatever. Like, he could do yeah, a lot shit of like things. That. Yeah, you know definitely, saying? definitely. But just definitely profit off your likeness for sure. Exactly. But you know, as far as the activities, yeah, like, you had your time. You already threw a million in the club. You don't need to keep doing that. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to see you in the club throwing money at bitches or doing any kind of ostentatious nigga shit. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, it was funny though because <laughs> I went to Vivid Day Shift the other day, Friday, uh -huh. and it was a lot of unks in there. Like I'm unk, <laughs> and them niggas was in there making me like they was looking at me like I was a young boy. Them niggas was in there like 50, 60 years old. Oh no, where you like, going to like, nigga? Like, like, like I was like so. I'm not saying that he gonna be throwing a bunch of money, but I, who's to tell a nigga don't go to the street? Like, no, I no, a lot I'm of not niggas. telling oh. nigga don't don't fraternize with whores. Okay, all right. <laughs> live. You can live your life. Now again, they wasn't throwing money, but they was in there fraternizing with the bitches. Yo, That's all I'm saying. They was in the street. Look, street. B, I'm never gonna tell another man that he can't fraternize with whores. Like, right. if you want to hang out with Trish. You just did 20 joints. Of course you can hang out with Trish. I, I, I just had to Are make that dumb? clear. I didn't think you were saying but like, yo, I'm just don't saying, just like, go to don't club. Front, You don't have to be front street, yo, all up, the ones, throw the money, yell my name on the DJ. Like, be in the corner with a bitch. Be a pervert in the corner. Like yeah. a good, respectable old man. <laughs> Pass you a couple of hours. Yeah. Give her a little stack. Of, right. <laughs> yeah, hey, sit like, down, like, sis. I'm in the corner with this Trish. I'm a zella. Like, I'm not even going to order no bread. Like, That's what I was just going <laughs> to say. Just pass it a stack. Like, oh, just have a seat, <laughs> bitch. Let's saying? talk. Like, type shit. Be on, like, be OG, you know what I mean? And, and just do it the right way. There's no okay. need for the well, but you can still go to the strippy. For sure. Uh, making sure. I, I ain't like how you were saying it at first. Nah, like, man, what, nah. He just did 20 plus joints. Like, he definitely can go fraternize with all countries. Like, do what you gotta do, B. Yeah. Like, what? Nah, like, Unk need a bitch half his age right now. What That's you what I'm saying. About? He need oh, a little dumb? young, long whipple snapper, little 23 year old. baby. A past Uncle 2000, baby, right now. He nah, need that. facts. Get his shit together. Fuck you mean? Tell you my boy out. My you nigga, feel you me? Clean my boy out. Yeah. You feel Word. me? Shout to Mish though, man. Happy he's out. Happy everybody. Whoever's touch if you touch down and you ain't do something you ain't weird. Do no weird shit. If, if you, you ain't, ain't got a weird kids. channel, yeah, yeah, if you ain't got a weird charge and it's not why is you around, then I'm happy you hit, man. Yeah. Shout to you. Touchdown, T home, yeah, man. Get Word. back to the family. 
Talk oh. some sports. Yeah, we got a lot. Man, it's a, a lot, lot going sports, on in the sports bro. world. WNBA. New York finally got Liberty a basketball got a championship. Chip. It's been about 40 years. This shit's great. Liberty's first chip. It's controversial. You Fix know. was in. Fix was definitely in. Phantom <laughs> call at the end. I actually watched I didn't watch the whole shit, but I watched like the last quarter. The one that the quarter that mattered. The fix was in. Fix was in. It was a nasty game too, because it wasn't like very high school. A lot of missed calls, missed shots, I should say. But were they um, nervous? I don't know. Maybe they were nervous, tired, exhausted. I, yeah, I mean, I think they need to lower the rim in the WNBA. I've been saying that. Fuck. I'm like, oh, <laughs> what? I gotta look up the commissioner. WNBA <laughs> commissioner. Lower. I've been saying this since I've been in ninth grade. I just tell niggas like, yo, if they would just lower the rim, and uh -huh. I would see bitches dunking, I would watch that. Like, yeah, they just like, lower the rim. That's bro. all y'all gotta do. Like, women aren't. We're, they're not built to be. You're not as tall as men. You're not and as they can't jump. They can't jump as sh for shit, bro. Women can't jump for real, so it's like, yo, this and then like the amount of smoke layups. It's like, yo, they missing the rim on layups because they so short and shit. It's like, yo, lower the rim, bro. Kathy Engelbert, and they it looks like I'm watching JV basketball, <laughs> in like sixth grade. Oh wow. And how about the WNBA commissioner wore a dress to game five? With, with the with New York the skyline, the New yeah, York they said that, yeah. Oh, the fix was in. Yeah, sure, what sure. the we fuck? Tell me you didn't see that. Like, yo, nah. The I fix just, was in. That's nasty. Yeah, the fix was in. Oh, my gosh. That how was... many chips can fucking bum-ass Minnesota win? Yeah. You need, need a chip where it matters, yeah, man. Yeah, we need a chip where it matters. We need a chip for Beyond the Story in the NES school, school, man. What the fuck you talking about? Like, stars need chips. Sorry, Nefessa. Maybe next year. Respectfully, you got a lot of accolades this year. You got a good season, yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, her wearing a New York State dress is wild crazy. I didn't know it was that egregious. Fix was definitely in. You can't tell me different. Fix was in for sure. Um, lower the rims. That like y'all can shoot lower the rims. Like I promise you, them shit was not flat. If Angel Reese could dunk, oh my god. Fix was in. Um, the 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 they just they just uh opted out of the of the player of the players uh what's it called collective bargaining the agreement. Collective bargaining. Hey, we got so, Kalen Clark. We need more breach. Are you are you agreeing with them? Do you feel like the WA, WNBA joints need more bread? Yeah, the, I, they should. The, this is the best. If they were ever going to opt out, this was the time. Like, all right, we just so we got Caitlin Clark on board. There was probably like the highest rated WNBA finals ever. Imagine if Caitlin Clark was playing, that should have been through the roof. And yeah, it's time to get some more breeze. That's they true. they did lose forty million this year though. Did they? Yeah. I can WNBA actually name five year. WNBA players this year. But the WNBA time. lost forty million. I did see that. I did see that. I mean, how can we pay you more if we down forty million? <laughs> like they just all right. They did lose forty million, correct? But they they just signed a new TV deal, which isn't counted into the, into what? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the new TV some deal should be way in. more chunkier with the Kaylin yeah, Clark situation. With the Kaylin Clark yeah. situation. Make yeah. sure Kaylin's on every prime time game. <laughs> Don't fuck this up. And Angel Reese too. And we'll throw Asia in there. Like, you know what I mean? And that's it. That's the only yeah. three. Is them three, one of those three need to be playing. Need to be on prime time. We're showing them every, every time. WNBA timeout. Let's, Let's not, not even play with it. Don't fucking play with it. Kim and Brink. Like the ones that I can name. If I can yeah. name them, put them on. Yeah. Fuck. Oh God. And and of course, and and the Liberty too. Yeah. And the Liberty. And the Liberty. Um, Angel Reese, I had complaining she had the WNBA checks, checks ain't enough to pay her rent. No, nah, she was. I, everybody, let's pump the brakes on the on the Angel slander that y'all was giving out. She's not complaining. She's just basically letting you know that her checks couldn't cover her rent, and she makes millions of dollars off the court. And I'm not mad at her. Keep yeah. getting your money, Angel. She out there. She had. She looking like a joint. Cheeks was out. Niggas was mad. Like, oh, she complained about sexualism, but she got her cheeks out. Oh well. She just don't want y'all niggas to make AI porn of her. Like, I don't think that's asking too much. The fuck? Yeah, I mean, like, going AI porn out, porn and, like, sending it through the airwaves is just, like, it's just a lot. Like, like come on. Lie. It's a like, lot. But, I mean, like, all, most women, especially in the 20s, want some sort of sexualization. Like, they want to be seen, they want to be seen as attractive to niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and she's I not going, she's not going geeks out for nothing. You know what I mean? I Listen, respect it though. I appreciate it. Like, yo, Angel thanks for the Reese's, heat. Her PR and her management is elite. Like, she's at all the events. She got a, her bread and is, is fire. I mean, yeah, they know, they know where to put they her. They know where to put her. They know where to put her. They got her at the Liberty Game, Hug and Teaspoon. Yes. You know what I mean? At the end, like, you know I mean? She pulled up to the final. She had, like, the, the Lynx, the half Lynx jersey, the half Liberty yeah. jersey. Like, y'all pro That's WNBA. That's what I'm saying. She said Hug and Teaspoon. Yeah. Teaspoon got fired, but, you know. She said, we still here for you.
Yeah. She on check in. She had sh- concert. She she on the check in. Shout to Angel Reese. She Angel, on her one two step. Yeah, like she, she gonna got, make sure she continue to get her off the she br- got off the court. Full breach. blown blog coverage. Like you know what I mean, like she's one of them people. Like right? you know what I mean, like whatever. Yeah, she whatever doing, she out, do outside in public, it's just it's, getting picked it's up. Getting picked up. You know That's mean? where she's at. Yeah, 100%. I respect it. Yeah, I respect it. I respect it. NBA is back. Yeah, about fucking time. About fucking time. This is like the best time of year for sports. Cause we oh, got the yeah. World Series, it's back to we back got to football, back. we got basketball. Oh, we got to talk the World Series because it's, it's that lit right this year. It is super lit. Like, yeah. I, this is the first time I watched from, like, the divisional series yeah. on, like, all the teams. Yeah. Like, I've been tapped <laughs> the fuck in. Shout to my Yankees. The Yankees win. Hello. It's going to be a hell of a matchup. New York versus L.A. It can't get any better. It couldn't it's get any better. It's what you want. MLB, connect, this MLB has been dying to have this. Like, they could... It's probably been about a, this is probably the most exciting World Series in the last twenty years for the. It MLB. can't get any better. The names involved. Names involved. The, t- the cities involved. The cities involved. You know what I'm saying? Like major sports town, major superstars. You got Otani. You got Judge. You got Bench, everybody. You got Soto, it's everybody. It's everybody. It's you everybody. Can everybody ask you for. care about. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's yes. no Kansas City, Nancy Royals, no Nancy, no Red San Diego, team. no Guardians, yeah, no, no corny, no. goofy shit. Yo, you know. know what's so crazy? I'm look. I was um. It could have been really San Diego versus. Cleveland. That's been like nasty. what? What do you do with that? That's the son. I'm looking at this shit when the Yankees playing the fucking with Cleveland. I'm like, it was like Yankees versus the Guardians. I was like, what the fuck is the go- what's what's the Guardians? I don't even know they changed the they name changed, of the team. You know, anybody that had Indian Redskin in their name is a dub. Yeah, so, yeah. They I'm changed like Guardians. Team. What's this shit? I'm like, oh, that's Cleveland team now. The Guardians. That's trash. Now, I, you know, as a New Yorker, I did kind of want a Subway Series, but I nah, can't even be mad at that's the Dodgers. Stink. Mets stink. Mets is no, not. Don't know. Let's slow down. The Mets door is stink. nice, but they don't got the star power. Like obviously, the Dodgers, Yankees is what Nick Streets wanted to see. At the end of the day, nothing's coming out of Queens but fucking garbage. Be like, you don't want none. They I mean like the Mets stink. <laughs> you don't want no parts of that. You know what I mean? You don't want none of them off-brand teams over there. Be like none of the Queens teams. Like, oh shit. You know what I mean? Like the niggas ain't. Nah, you don't want to see that. Be you know what I mean? Like the Dodgers is what you want to be. Who you like? Yankees. Okay. I got to go Yankees off GP. I mean, Yankees I'm not in what? Six. Six. Objectively Who's speaking. home? They might push it to seven just so powers that be more and extra bread. Yeah. Fox is going to milk this. <laughs> like, they've been salivating for this matchup. Yeah. Are you crazy? Yankees. Dodgers. I got, I'm going Yankees off GP. Yankees you know is home. Oh, yeah. I'm going Yankees off GP. It's time this for should the, be a good one. It's time for the Yankees to get another chip, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, been been a, it's been a while. It's been a minute. The Dodgers been in the mix for a minute. Like, like the past ten years, like five, ten years, Dodgers been like going to World yeah, Series. They've been, the they been, yeah. they been, they been in the building. Like, they've been in the it's building. time for the Yankees to get a chip. It's fucking time. Dodgers it's, it's bullpen is hurt. The Yankees gotta take advantage, man. For it's real. time. It's time for the Yankees to get a chip, bro. It's been too long. It's time for Aaron Judge to cement his legacy. Yes, he you needs know what this. I mean? It's time for a couple niggas. It's there's a couple of niggas over there on that it's side. It's a legacy. That need it's that a lot chip. of niggas' legacy. Otani need a chip. You know Otani what I mean? definitely he need a chip. chip. Don't get definitely fucked up. Need chip. Judge need a chip. Niggas need chips. Yeah, Soto yeah. already got a chip. Yeah. You know what I mean? But a um, couple of niggas need some chips, B, like There's you said. There's a couple guys over there that definitely need to make their name. They need to leave their mark, man. Absolutely. Um, it's going to be a goodie, though. The new book, Open at Night. The season's back. How you feeling, B? Who's winning Brownie the chip gonna this year? Ronnie going to be on the um, floor tonight. Uh, who is winning the chip this year? Why is J.J. Reddick forcing Bronny in a rotation already? Like, it's not time for Bronny to be They're going to probably give him, like, qu- quick subs about Just quick, as, Just so we can throw, like, mad graphics. I keep graphics. telling y'all niggas this NBA is a business. Yeah, like, so he's going to throw mad fuck? graphics on the screen. Oh, Bronny the first game. You know, they say Ken Griffey Jr. and Sr. is going to be gonna be at uh, be at the game. Hey, uh, hello. Brownie for sure, touching for the court. sure, he's touching the court, bro. He's yeah. touching the court. There's nothing to talk about. Nothing to talk about. There's people. Brody is gonna get jersey sales this year. Like, let's be yeah. clear on that. So, Brody it's good has, for business. Whoa, wait. Brody has eight million followers on Instagram. Like, Brody don't like what? You like, think he's not gonna play? Yeah. What's your favorite show? Are you dumb? <laughs> he's fucking playing tonight. Now, is he gonna play the whole for thirty minutes? No, nah. but I'm gonna give him two minutes on the floor. Yeah, Brownie's gonna Fuck touch the court for sure. Shout out to LeBron. <laughs> it just, just goes back to his legacy and how important shit. he is. He's a force and shit. Yo, my son's playing tonight. Yeah, <laughs> how big that is. Like, yo, my son's playing tonight. My Fuck out of here. Tonight. Yo, the nigga got his podcast partner a fucking uh, the, the coach is the team. coach. Like, yo, <laughs> we skipped. You know what's crazy? We really skipked over that. That's just, yeah. like that's right there. That's, that's neck and neck. Man. That's just that's just his man's. That was on the podcast. On a fucking like, podcast, bro. <laughs> he was like, you know, I'm gonna make you the coach of the team. 
Y'all niggas is talking about Bronny being a 55th pick. That's bigger than me. Like, yeah. that nigga's running the fucking yeah. Lakers now. Like, yeah. he's coaching he's them niggas. Head coach. Like, come on. Like, y'all, no y'all niggas. Was coaching people, but no experience. Niggas was crying about a fucking a 13 player roster spot. Yeah. Like, all right, cool. That is a lot. But that nigga made his homie the coach. Like, you know what? <laughs> JJ, pull up. Like, yeah, that is, that is ridiculous. I like where your mind is. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas basically. I'm pretty sure off the camera, they've been drawing up plays, doing all kind of shit, man. Yeah. LeBron gonna be able to play when he wants, how he wants, whenever he wants. Anything He's gonna be he subbing himself out. Watch this. He gonna be running the show. Yo, I need a breather, JJ. Um, coming out the East, I don't see nobody being the Celtics, honestly. Yeah. Um, unless I can see the Magic Orlando injury. making a deep run on some fluke shit. Yeah, I, told niggas, I already told niggas Orlando's making a deep run. I, that's how I feel. I feel good about Orlando. Um, Philly gonna be hurt again. The Knicks gonna do some. The Knicks gonna make a deep they run. They might. The Knicks gonna make a deep run. Maybe conference. Um, Orlando gonna go, get to the second round. Philly's not doing nothing. Nah, Philly's not doing nothing. They're gonna be packed up. They're gonna be hurt. Once Paul and, George is hurt already, and already. Joel Embiid already told you he's not doing back to backs, and he's not playing on Friday. So if a nigga come out before the first game and, and say, you, "Yo, I'm not, not playing no back to back, so I could be good for the playoffs," yo, nigga, what are you talking? And then the about? second nigga is hurt already. Yeah, you're not. You're not going. Nowhere. They're not going nowhere. Clippers is nasty. We could see a resurgent Harden year. I could see another 20. I, I'm rolling eyes. Like, he can't still give you 22 and 10. He going to go off because he going to have a rock. Who else is he going to pass it to? All right. I, I mean, go off by default, cause, but it's going to be nasty. It's going to be ugly. Harden is not nice. Harden's okay. He's not. He's all right. He's okay. He dropped 30 in the, in the playoffs this year against the Mavs. He was busting. He was doing his thing. Don't do that. Harden's all right, bro. Like, like, he can he, still get busy. He's capable of a good, a big performance, but he's not. And he's, he a regular season merchant. We know that. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you talking we do about? We know that. That nigga's a regular season. He's going to have the rock to do what he wants, bro. He is a regular season fucking like, merchant. We know that. Kawhi is sure. out indefinitely. Like, what the, what the fuck does that mean? Like, you know I like, what I'm saying? I like Denver with Russ. I, mean, I want Russ to get a, a a chip so bad, but I don't want Jokic to get another chip. I don't want Jokic to get another chip, but like I'm like Jokic with Russ. I think Jokic and Russ got a, like a, some type of like a mental like agreement you on some shit. You know the Clippers pick, sneaky picked up KPJ. You think he gonna get some minutes now that no Kawhi's there? Who the fuck is KPJ? Kevin Porter, the nigga who lost his short to Jalen Brown. Oh, he back in the league. He, yeah, I mean, I mean, he's more of a point guard, but I think yeah, he should. He, yeah, he definitely gonna get on the court for sure. He he gets buckets. He gets he gets the job done. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what? So, like, this one thing about I'm about to pick up Norman Powell and Terrence Mann, though. I know they're gonna get a bunch of shots up. This, with no this, this is what Kawhi. we said the other day on NFL Tapping. Like, you give like a nigga smack his bitch up, give him a year or two out the way. They gonna bring him back in and like nothing happened. Smack him right back. Yeah, they gonna slide him right back right in and nothing happened. Miles Bridges got a big contract again. Like, oh, he got it. Oh, they, oh, they, oh, they up them. They, they yeah, cashed them out. Yeah, they cashed them out in the offseason. Like, yo, this hot. Like, yo. If you beat your joint, like, it's going to be nasty for you at first, but they're going to tuck you away for about a year or two and slide you back in the league like nothing happened. Like nothing Kevin happened. Kevin Porter's back in the game, I mean. Back in the league. He played a season in, like, fucking China or some shit. Now he's back at it. Uh, yeah, I thought it was over. Yeah. It's never ever over. It's never over. I mean, if you nice, we're going to let you slide with beating your joint once or twice. You know what I mean? That's what they do. I like Phoenix with a real point guard this year with Tyus over there feeding Durant the Rock. You um, feel like Tyus is a championship point guard? I, did I say that? I just said, how did you say that? So slow the fuck down. I never said that. I just said I like Phoenix with a real point guard. That's all I'm saying. It's like, I don't want to go no further. I lost, I watched a couple of preseason games. I like how Tyus was getting Durant the ball in certain spots. That he didn't have to work too hard. But again, yeah. it is preseason, and they got a vibe. It's better than having a book and run, come up and run the show. Yeah, that, you feel that me? was crazy. Bradley Bill at the point. Like, that yeah, was I don't want to see that. Um, I'm looking forward to the, watching the Spurs. I want to see Victor's development. And I want to see what that looks like with a. He got a real point guard as well. Finally, the point guard. A point there. guard as you a nigga that's really not going to be taking no shots. Like that's going to be actually looking to feed Victor yeah. every fucking time down the floor. Yeah, and they're still and stink, can still though. huh? They're gonna stink. Yeah, they're gonna stink. But it's again. I just want to see Victor's development. Well, you feel me? Do, yeah, that's I think it. I think um the Kings are going to be a real problem this year. Who they pick up? The Rosen, the Rosen, oh yeah, Rosen, they get them all. Fox, Sabonis, Sabonis. They still, they got, still Malik got Malik Monk. Monk. Yeah, I mean, they got a couple of niggas over there. I yeah. want to. I think Sacramento. Yeah, they got rid of fucking there. Harrison Barnes and his, because you know he's like likely to disappear. Oh, but speaking of the Bulls, they got Lonzo back. How's that gonna look? I mean, I, I, I like what I seen from Lonzo. I, but I, I don't. We think... don't know. I don't know how it's gonna hold. I'm not gonna knock on wood. 
Um, they don't have the personnel to really make any noise, but yeah. I'm happy for Lonzo. Yeah, I'm happy just, for Lonzo. That's what, that's what I was saying. I'm happy for Lonzo. That. You feel you know me? I mean? Like, I'm happy Lonzo's back on the court. He look a little timid, but I mean, he should be. Oh, he I should mean, be. He's great. Two years, like yeah. the fun. Yeah. Yeah. Give my nigga some grace. Yeah, facts. Like you said, we both like the Knicks. The Knicks, we should expect them to make Knicks a deep run. They're going to do some. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, once you once you make the decision to have Cat as your as your defensive anchor and your your primary big man in New York City, bro, I just I don't think that's gonna hold up well. In Cat's defense, he he was eyed against Denver last year. You know what I mean? He played good against Joker in, in spurts. I think Cat. I think Cat's a good defender. It's just New York, though. Yeah, like that's a different ball game, bro. Like he, I don't think he got the mental fortitude to stick with them nigga to 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 deal with that crowd every night. And just like, yeah, you know I mean, Cause if you have a snigger, they gonna be on your ass. Yeah, you know I mean, don't have no, don't get in no type of slump or none of that soft yeah, shit. The daily they not post, like the they newspaper, gonna be on like, you. They, like I just like the second, the second he opt for run, the second he run, he catch a rebound and pat, kick it out and run to the three point line instead of instead of posting back up. Niggas is gonna be on his back. Like, just take your big ass down to the fucking block. You know what I'm saying? And stay like, there. It's gonna be a, a drunk Italian in the crowd start spazzing on him. Like, yo, that's not basketball. Like, I don't think he's not gonna be able to get away with the fuckery that he did in Minnesota, bro. And yeah. that thing is gonna wear on him over time, bro. I don't think he got the mental. I mean, he from your hood. He from Jersey. He's from not from my hood. He's uh. from Jersey. I don't know where Jersey is from, but at the end of the day, he's Dominican. And yeah, you know I mean, like, he's just not. I don't okay. think he can deal. He doesn't play in this time. For my hood, it's crazy. <laughs> he, I don't think he can deal with the pressure, bro. I just don't see it. You got a surprise team that we, we not that we not expecting that you think is gonna make the playoffs. I mean, Give me a surprise team. My my surprise team was the Magic, but we said the Magic, um, to make a run, um. Since Sacramento, they ain't made, did, did, did they, they lost in the first round. I don't right, think Sacramento Pelicans. surprising anybody though. With okay, the Rosen and them niggas, um. Where we Damn. see Memphis, it's a lot going on in the West. Surprise! I think I I I don't Memphis. I don't see Memphis necessarily making a playoff. I think they're going they're going to be in the, the competition in for the play in. Okay. But I think John Moran's about to have a year though. I think John Moran's about to go nuts. You know I like Zach Eady over there. He looks thirty in the preseason. Yeah, I, like he got a different type of workout plan or something. He looking all right. Like he like yo, this nigga been had a different. Let's type of get training back. Program. And I, you know what I've been saying? Like let's get back to like recruiting big men like that are bigger than niggas. Like a lot of Jokic shit is he just be leaning on niggas. He just bigger. That's than the niggas. thing again. After yeah. Jokic, see n- after Jokic won a chip by leaning on niggas. Just leaning on now niggas. Now niggas is like hold on, bro. Yeah, let's go back need, to leaning on need niggas. A big motherfucker. I can lean on niggas, bro. <laughs> to get it to get you an easy deuce. Jokic like, literally won a chip by leaning on niggas. That's it. Like, <laughs> like for sure. Like, like straight up. Mean? Straight um, up. Yeah, I'm trying to think if it it's a real sneaky sneaky team that ain't nobody looking at that might do something. Indi- Indiana might do something, but they ain't really going to really not rock sneaky the though. They did make the conference ship last year. Yeah, yeah they kind of did. On some food shit, but they um, still made it. Yeah. New Orleans or something. They gave Trey Murphy a bag. We're going to see. We're going to see. It's like they've been trying to turn the corner for the longest time. Yeah. Zion supposedly lost, is in the lost, best shape in of his life, again. life again. I like Trey Murph, too. I like Trey yeah, Murphy. We're going to see. It's going to be interesting. Like, that, little, that bottom playoff bracket between Memphis, Sacramento, the Pelicans... Step Warriors by default because of Steph and them. I think Sacramento's about to be like a top four seed this year, bro. Oh, for real? You That's how I feel, bro. I really think about In the West play. or just in, in the West? Oh, okay. In the West. Then you got Denver. Four. You got Dallas. You got Minnesota. You going Sacky? Yeah, Sacramento. Yeah, I, and Dallas, Dallas is not really a good regular season team. It, like, Kyrie Irving and Luka are not, it's not night to night giving it they all. Like, like, they not. You got different injuries and shit. But I mean, I don't know. It's a lot over there. You still got, like you said, you got Memphis. I, I think. I Houston think, might take a step. I think Golden State. Oh, Houston is definitely taking a step. Houston might take a step. Houston is going to the playoffs this year, that's for your, sure. That's your sneaky nigga. They're going to the playoffs, for sure. Reed Shepard. Added to that shit with Sangoon. They just gave Sangoon and, and, um, and Jalen and Green Dylan, back. You know what I mean? Like, tr- like with Doka and Van Vliet, Mike Stroh and the shit, Houston's going to the playoffs this shit, for sure. Eighth seed? I don't know what seed. It's going to be low, but they're going to the playoffs. <laughs> they're going, going to the playoffs. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, it's going to be low, but they're going, though. Cappy. Play-in type vibe, but they're going, though. 
they going for sure. It's Definitely. tough because you still got like the old heads, Phoenix, the random niggas are still there. Unk and them is still Unk in the building. Still there. Yeah, like, yeah. don't do that. Like, the red off a of sturdy Olympics, Booker was off a of sturdy Olympics showing, like, niggas are still over there. You I ain't really mean? like what I've seen from Booker in the Olympics, but. Nah, he did all the dirty work. Go back and watch them games, man. Don't I mean, he, he was a good team player. He was a good team he was player. A good team player. You know what I'm saying? That's he hit some big shots in the final, the final yeah. game. The championship game, he hit some big shots. Played good defense. Like, yeah. he just made timely plays. Yeah. He did He did his job. Yeah. Like, they didn't ask him, we didn't need you to come dirty. We got niggas for that, but yeah. just come play hard, my nigga. Yeah. You'll get on the floor. Oh, God. That's facts. You want to wrap this joint up? Should we get into our favorite segment? Yeah, we should. Um, I'll start it off. Listen, at we're all set every week. We, we close the show with the segment we call We're All Set. And we let y'all know what we're not feeling, what we done with, and what we all set on. And um, I'm going to go back to something we talked about earlier, even though the bro tried to front. I'm all set on the Mets because I did want to see a Subway Series. It would have been big for New York. I was looking forward to that, riding the train. I was going to pull up for that, honestly. But I'm not mad at the Dodgers making it. But I am all set on the Mets for letting us down because I did want a Subway Series, and y'all didn't hold up y'all into the bargain. So nah, for real. that's what I'm all set on. Who you all set on, Rich? Um, I'm all set on two things. I'm all set. I'm all set on the fucking political text messages I keep getting. <laughs> you feel me? Like, like one for Kamala Trump, all that shit. Like, stop hitting my phone, bro. Like, this battleground station is a lot, bro. Like, mm-hmm. stop hitting my line. And referring to earlier. It is the week of homecoming. I'm all set on you joints. It's about to come through with your big back. Please don't. Put a coat on. Like, put a black jacket on so you look a little slimmer. If that's the case. <laughs> like, and, like, trick me. <laughs> like, you had all year to get ready, B. Show me some improvement. I want to see that you love yourself. Yeah, love yourself. I just want to see that you love yourself. Show me some improvement, B. Don't come in that shit looking like you just eat hot wings every week, B. Fuck. Yeah, I agree. Holla, <laughs> man. That's our I'm show, man. Right, man. Come fuck, fuck with us, man. All set pod dot store. Uh, NFL tap in every Monday at twelve. Oh yeah, hold on. We gave y'all NFL tap in. Bro said Ravens to cover. Them niggas cover. Don't forget it. Like we giving y'all joints. If you watch NFL tap in, we make a, made a couple We giving dollars. you a lock. We give you a lock every week. We're good for a lock a week, B. So you made a holla. couple dollars if you watch us, man. Holla, man. Ah ah. All set pod dot store. store.